Hi everyone, today's tutorial will be about how to configure a DHCP server on Windows 2008. Uh, first of all, you need to, to be sure that your server have a static IP address. This is the, the most easiest way, uh, I mean, in the case of troubleshooting or to identify your, your system on the network. So first we'll start by clicking on start run ncpa.cpl is a shortcut to access to network connection here right click and properties it's better to disable the IPv6 and work only with IPv4 as you can see no IP address has been assigned so it's, it has taken automatically and since we don't have any DHCP server on the network, you will select the default uh, IP power range address as we can check IP config. Here you can see the IP address of the system is 169.254.162.98. So it is the default address assigned by the computer. Then we start by adding our own IP address so we'll select a, a, a private class A IP address in the range 10.0.0.1 default subnet mask and we'll assume that we don't require any internet connection or any connection to a web server so we don't require a gateway and the DNS server here that's all for the IP address so our IP address now for the local machine will be uh, in the 10 dot range so now we'll we'll go to configure now you, you have to click to, to access to the server manager to click to the lower left button here to star button server manager and here as you can see the local area connection IP is in 10 dot range in work group here so we start by, ac by accessing the, the role panel on left in the left column as you can see 0 out of 16 roles is installed so now we'll install the DHCP role we'll do it by clicking on add roles here click on it uh, before you begin this give uh, a little description of uh, what to do what is the, the purpose of this one you click on next here you'll have uh, many options which role you, you need you just select it and in our case we need only the GCP server so we'll just select the GCP server here by ticking on the, the option box here so that's it so we just click on next now to start configuring next next here uh, since we have only one NIC card and one IP address configure for our local machine we'll have only uh, this option I mean the default option is already been ticked so nothing to do here but in the case we have many NIC card and uh, IP address also you'll have more option here click on next we are not in in a domain uh, network so no need to configure anything here so the DNS server or IPv4 server yeah we don't require also since we don't need any name to resolve next wins is not required for the application of on this network so we have to let the default choice next here hard or select scope here so this is the most important step on this configuration so here you can directly create the scope which is a uh, I mean the block of IP that the client with which, which will be assigned to the to the client so it will define a range of IP that will be assigned to the client who request an IP. 
so here the scope name here you click just click on add here you enter the scope name any name we'll choose se1 the starting IP address will take uh, the same range 10.0.0.10 the end IP 10.0.0.20 the subnet mask will take as the default class A subnet mask uh, as you can see the default gateway is optional so we can take any of so we we don't rec we don't want to access to to the internet so we don't need a default gateway just click on ok and by default is activated as you can see here activate the scope it has been activated by default so you just take the default option press on next since we don't we are not using a dscp 6 so you let that as it is because the stateless mode for this server the IPv6 client will be automatically configured without using this GCP server so it's better next same thing here also we are not in domain network so we don't need to configure anything here and then that's all you click on install it will install it okay okay now as you can see uh, the installation is over and you can see now installation succeeded here so that's all now our server is configured now you can click on close and close this button so what to do now we just need to go to the client side now since uh, our server side is configured so we'll assume that we'll have two clients one from uh, one of Red Hat 6 PC and one Windows 7 PC so let's go to the Windows 7 here so what to do we'll just check from the command prompt cmd here you can see ip config as you can see the ip now has changed to 10.0.0.10 255.0.0.0 so that's the scope that we have assigned to the client so we'll go to the to the other one linux here opening terminal as you can see you can just check the ip address is config uh, here as you can see here inet addr means uh, ipv4 address ip address which is here 10.0.0.11 so we'll just go by incrementing at uh, every time one client is access is allowed to access to the network through the GCP server it will just increment the IP till it reach the end of the scope okay hope you enjoy and learn have a good day thanks